What is going on, Reefing Fam? March here. This is, do you know what this is? This is a television show called Fragbox TV. Welcome back to the channel. Store is closed. My favorite time. Is the store closed? Hold on, let me check. Did I lock this? Yeah, store is closed. It's Easter. Happy Easter. When I'm going to upload this, I don't know. I shoot stuff in advance um, when we have the time. So, today's video, what are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? I'm going to get to it in a second, but first, I want to show you our Red Sea Reefer 250 because the thing is looking what? It's looking awesome. I know some of you are unhappy because we went basically full-blown soft coral with the exception of one beautiful branching Australian Duncan who I don't even know who added this it wasn't me um, someone in the store I think it was Mike or Jay and then there's also one golden branching hammer kind of back there oh hello hello clownfish how are you other than that 98% the rest of it soft coral uh, there's a clam in there too kind of hiding in the middle I don't know if we consider clams corals this tank is looking really really good you guys saw I did the video review on the Neptune sky if you're thinking about a light for a reef tank mm, it's probably my new favorite one on the market okay that was a good little sidetrack we'll get that out of the way tanks looking great I hope you guys like it I'll do a full maybe in depth I'll give this a little more attention in a future video and talk about the zoas and Kenya tree and all the fun stuff that's in here I know everybody wants a piece of that it's just a cabbage coral but the thing is spectacular look how it bounces out okay we are not talking about that tank today sorry we're not going to even talk about these corals in here even though we have a ton i don't know if we've been this full i don't remember the last time we were this full this is like an all you can eat buffet of coral there's a lot a lot we got back to back shipments it was really tricky for a while to bring stuff in because of a lot of nonsense actually i don't have a very clear answer why very hard to get flights and get stuff over here but we have a nice mix of australian coral scolies blastos Acans, torches, and then as well, a very nice mix of hard coral. Check this out. There's 200 and... There was 250, but it was a busy weekend, so a lot of them are gone. But 250 new Acropore colonies. Kind of hard to see. High flow, highlight. Again, not what today's video is about. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done teasing you. Let's go over here and talk about what's really going on. Look at this nice carpet. Check this out, actually. This is the last thing I'll talk about before we actually start. Isn't that nice? Someone got me this for my birthday. A friend of mine and it's really nice a very thoughtful gift they are not in the hobby they don't have anything to do with this company called frag box if you know what that is that's us that was very kind of them and it's very plush and it's there for everyone to see so thank you friend you know who you are that carpet will forever live there okay let's talk about all for reef tropic marin what is all for reef why might i be interested in this product and why is this crazy Canadian talking to me about this today? Imagine I dropped the whole bottle. Mm. Something new that I'm experimenting with. And so this will kind of be my initial impression, impressions on this product. Matt that works here in the store, he was using it on his tank at home and couldn't say enough good things about it. And then slowly we started to sell it. And now it's like a staple on our shelves. We keep it in stock at all times. And I don't like selling stuff in the store that I don't use. So just about everything that's here on the shelf, I can personally endorse. I either have used it, I have personal experience with it in the past, or it's something we're currently feeding. For example, the fish food that's here, this is what we feed our fish. And this is what we dip our corals with. This is what I use to remove phosphates. This is what I use to scape tanks, to increase nitrates, to test our salinity, to test our water. If we didn't sell the stuff that's on the shelf, I couldn't give a damn because at one point in time, we would probably use all of it. And I can say that for a lot of the products that we sell here in the store. Uh, if we sell them, we stand behind them, we believe them, we don't stock the shelves based on margins. I could make, um, you know, 10% on something. It's not about how much we make. It's about actually believing in the product. So this was something that I saw, I was ordering a ton of, and I actually hadn't used. And customer feedback was really good, so I thought, let me give it a shot on this tank here. Uh, it's a little ballsy, just because that is our in-store um, display tank, but I was running into problems with trace minerals and constantly being low on certain ones iodine bromine potassium things like that so i thought i'll give it a shot so what is it now that we've got that long-winded explanation out of the way why we're doing it it's right there calcium magnesium and kh stands for alkalinity so it's an all-in-one supplement that'll raise those three things your calcium your mag and alkalinity 
all in one bottle. So initially I was very hesitant because I'm very against products like that. I don't believe in raising all three of them together. I'm an old school reefer. That's just not really how I've been taught to do it. Um, if I want to raise alkalinity, I use a test kit. I realize that it's low. I go out and I grab a bottle of just alk or just calcium or just magnesium and I raise them individually to try and get them to where they're at. This doesn't work like that. This says get your alkalinity to where you want it and the other two are going to fall in line. So it goes against everything I've thought about reef keeping up until now. I've been running it on this tank for about two weeks and I'm super impressed with the results. So on top of that, on top of keeping those three, your holy trinity, whoop, your calcium, alkaline, and magnesium, it also will raise the trace elements. So like I said, the potassium, the iodine, the bromine, the strontium, um, all the little minor and major trace elements that are important in keeping uh, a tank like this happy. I'm not going to get too much into them. I'm just going to tell you that they are important. And once you have a large population of coral in the tank, those things can become depleted. And this isn't a system that I water change very much. So usually you're gonna get those trace elements from a good quality salt. If you're wondering what we use here in the store, I'm using the Red Sea Coral Pro. So this is high, you know, you're gonna get your iron, you're gonna get, like I said, the boron, iodine, which is really important, especially because I am growing a lot of soft coral in there, bromines, fluorines, um, there's a lot. There's a lot of trace elements. They're usually gonna come from the salt that I'm not water changing. So this, claims to have those trace elements in there. So it's kind of like, it's a big claim. It's like everything you need in one bottle, I guess it's in the name there, all for reef. It's everything your reef's gonna need. I'm really, really impressed. I was super skeptical going into it. I'm, I'm using it on a doser downstairs and I'm really impressed with the way the tank looks. I'm seeing improved growth on soft coral. So that's the main reason I wanted to use it was I would, because what you don't see here in this tank, this plums into a much larger farm system in the basement and my soft coral growth has more or less turned off. I'm not growing zoas, they're, they're surviving, they're not thriving. And my theory was there's just so much going on in here. There's so many different soft corals and I think they're out competing each other for some of those trace elements. Uh, that's my theory. Uh, I have seen a major improvement in soft growth and the LPS, like the lights are kind of dimming down right now, but during the day, I've never seen acans get as puffy as these ones get in here. They just, they're like jumping out of the skeleton. Even the Duncan, I don't know how to explain it. I've never ever seen Duncan become so inflated and so flat, uh, fat, sorry, rather. The, the hammers, everything just seems like has just kind of turned up a notch. And I think that's because I was sort of um, low on some of those things. So I was dosing out calcium and mag, those supplements, but I think I was missing the trace elements. I'm very impressed with the product so far. Customer feedback has been really, really good. I don't know anyone that started using it and switched to anything else. Anytime I try something, um, I wanna talk to you guys about it. So I'm gonna give this one my thumbs up. I'll do another video in maybe two, three weeks. It's probably time for an ICP test as well. So I knew that I was low on a bunch of stuff um, because of this. Actually, you know what? I don't really like this company. I don't mind shitting on stuff. So I'm gonna say, you guys, ICP, customer service, not so hot. I'm gonna try another one, actually. I just grabbed one from, I think, ATI or Triton. I'm gonna try some other ones out. I have no loyalty to any brands. No one sponsors the channel. If I like something, I'm gonna tell you I like it. And if I don't, I'm gonna kick it to the curb. I have no problem taking stuff off the shelf at any given time. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up and we'll call it quits. If you guys like the channel, like the content, give us one of these. Don't forget, we're gonna be in Reefapalooza, myself and Tia this coming weekend. I think that's April, weekend of April 21st, something like that. Anyways, we'll see you guys back here soon. That's it for today's video of Fragbox TV. And I really, really like this product. And guys, try it out. Find it at your local reef store. Bye-bye.